Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to add rational expressions with different denominators. 4 over 18p to the 7th q plus 2 over 15p to the 4th q to the 4th. The first thing we want to do is factor our two denominators and we're going to do a prime factorization. Starting with 18, 18 is 2 times 9. 2 is prime, so we can stop that branch. And 9 is 3 times 3 which are both prime, so we can stop there. We're done with 18. Now we can move to 15. 15 is three times five, and both of those are prime, so we're done with that one. Now we need to find all of the common uh, factors between the two, so we'll line them up. Our first denominator has two times three times three, and then we have seven p's, so we'll write those all down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have one Q. And now our second denominator, we have three, so we'll put a three here. We also have a five, and we have four Ps, one, two, three, four, and four Qs. Now we're going to find the lowest common denominator. We need a two, we need a three, it's in common, so I need one of those. And then I need one more three. I also need a five. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven p's, so p to the seven. And I need one, two, three, four q's, so q to the fourth. Now I can multiply two times three times three times five, which gives me 90, p to the seventh, q to the fourth. So the lowest common denominator is 90 p to the seventh q to the fourth. So our first denominator, 18, needs to be multiplied by 5 to get to 90. And we already have p to the seventh, but I am missing three of the q's. So I need q to the third, because there's one q here. Now with our 15, we need to multiply this by 6 to get to 90. And we have four of the p's, so I need three more, so p cubed. And we have all of the q's, so we're good there. And whatever I multiply to the num denominator, I must also multiply to the numerator. So 5q to the third, multiply to the first one, and 6p to the third for the second one. Multiplying these together gives us, in the numerator for the first one, 20 q to the third, and then we're adding to 2 times 6 is 12, p to the third, and 5 times 18 is 90, and then we have q to the seventh, or p to the seventh, and q to the third, and one more q gives us all four q's. 15 times 6 is 90 for our second denominator. p to the fourth with three more p's gives us p to the seventh. And then we have four q, so q to the fourth. Now that we have a common denominator, we can go ahead and add the numerators. So we get 20 q to the third plus 12 p to the third, and divide this by 90 p to the seventh q to the fourth. We've now added our rational expressions with different denominators by finding the common denominator, and we're all done.